pioneer, visionary, healer. Dr. A. Richard Grossman is a true humanitarian who has dedicated his professional life to the treatment of some of the most defenseless in our society, those who have suffered severe burn injury. It was a tragedy that prompted Dr. Grossman to focus his medical talents on the practice of burn care. In 1958, a catastrophic fire swept through a parochial elementary school in Chicago, killing 93 children and four nuns. Now, Dr. Grossman was serving his residency at Cook County Hospital in Chicago at the time. Many of the children were so badly burned that it was impossible to tell whether they were girls or boys. It was an experience that would have a profound effect on the young chief emergency room resident. When Dr. Grossman moved to Los Angeles in 1964 to begin his aesthetic surgical practice, he began campaigning for a local burn center. He convinced the Sherman Oaks Community Hospital to devote two beds exclusively to burn care. Now in 1970, the burn center was created. By 1978, the burn center at Sherman Oaks Hospital had expanded into a freestanding 30-bed specialty unit. Through Dr. Grossman's determination and hard work, it has now become the largest burn unit west of the Mississippi. Dedicated to developing and refining new techniques in burn care, Dr. Grossman has been a pioneer of innovative treatments in his field. These include the development of IFP, an instant photographic technique which allows burn doctors to more accurately diagnose and treat the severity of burn injuries research into laboratory-grown skin, and the use of high-pressure oxygen chambers to help speed the healing process and minimize scarring. These medical successes and Dr. Grossman's reputation for compassionate care have made his name known the world over and have improved the lives of so many in our community. Like Bill Jensen, a 28-year veteran of the Los Angeles Fire Department who suffered third-degree burns to 70% of his body, Dr. Richard Grossman, working alongside his son and colleague, Dr. Peter Grossman, used all of their skill to create a new life for the stricken firefighter. In this instance, with a massive burn like this, we know that we have to do something a little more extraordinary. We would only have enough skin, even with all of what we had in, in his donor site, to cover the fingers of his right hand. We were only gonna have to use the cadaver skin as a biological dressing. We were gonna have to use the cadaver skin to replace uh, his own skin. We made it so that his own immune system wouldn't recognize that the cadaver skin wasn't his. Injuries I received were very well life-threatening, but through the wonderful care of Dr. Richard and Dr. Peter Grossman, uh, the entire staff of the Burn Center uh, gave me care way up and above more than what I expected for any hospital. He is a survivor. The rock support system that he has from a foundation of family, friends, the fire department. He's got a great backup team. Bill Jensen is just one of the many community firefighters who have benefited from the skilled dedication of Dr. Richard Grossman. To honor this work, Dr. Grossman was named honorary fire chief for the city of Los Angeles in 1994 and inducted into the Firefighters Hall of Fame by the California Department of Firefighters. His career has been dedicated not to just saving lives, but also to saving the quality of life for all of his patients. In 1985, Dr. Grossman co-founded the Children's Burn Foundation with actor McLean Stevenson. McLean himself had been burned as a six-year-old child, and a fateful meeting with another severely burned six-year-old boy named Douglas Roy prompted him to try to help. Out of their mutual passion for helping young burn survivors, the Children's Burn Foundation was born. This vital organization addresses the special medical, psychological, physical, and social needs of children who have suffered severe burn injuries, regardless of their ability to pay. To combat the silent epidemic of child burn abuse, Dr. Grossman was also instrumental in helping the foundation develop the SCAN program. This team of professionals is trained to recognize the warning signs and intervene when child abuse or neglect are the suspected cause of children's burn injuries. The work of the Children's Burn Foundation reflects Dr. Grossman's philosophy of treating the whole person, not just the injury. In this spirit, Dr. and Mrs. Grossman host a camp at their home where young burn survivors can enjoy outdoor activities with their peers. Like Dennis, a nine-year-old Russian boy whose scarring limited his facial expression and use of his hands. But after two years of loving care with Dr. Grossman, Dennis can now look forward to the everyday activities of any 13-year-old. As the Grossman Burn Center at Sherman Oaks Hospital enters its fourth decade, Dr. Grossman continues his important work. Dr. Grossman's spirit and energy have touched patients from every sector of the community and every country of the world. His life work 
is a celebration of hope. The thing I found most over these years is not the economic games. It's not the plaudits. The gain I found most is giving back. Dr. Richard Grossman has indeed given back, not just to our valley, but to the world. He has practiced the art of healing as a master, given not just hope, but delivered miracles and shines as an illustrious star of our valley.